This is part 47 of JavaScript tutorial. In this video, we'll discuss using regular expressions in JavaScript. So, what is a regular expression? A regular expression is a sequence of characters that forms a search pattern. Let's understand regular expressions with an example. Notice here we've got a string with characters and numbers. Now what we want to do is retrieve all the numbers from this string. So basically we want to design a web page that looks like this. In the first text box the user will enter his input string and then once we click this process string button we want to retrieve all the numbers from the string and then display them in the text area element as you can see here. So for example if we enter this string right here we should retrieve the numbers 9, 890, 10 and 9902 as you can see here. If we enter this second string then we should be retrieving 908 1, 2, and 3, 4. And if we enter this string, the result should be 1, 2, 9, 0, 1, and 100. So basically, this page should work with any string. It will be very complex and error prone if we have to achieve this without using regular expressions. So let's see how to use regular expressions now. So let's flip to Visual Studio. So basically, I have already designed the web page to save some time. So here we have a text box where the ID of the text box is set to TXT box and with this set to 250 pixels. And then we have two HTML break elements. Followed by that, we have a button where the value is set to process string and the width of the button is set to 250 pixels. And then two HTML break elements and a text area element with ID TXT area and rows equals 4, columns equals 30. So at the moment, the web page looks like this. Now, let's go ahead and write a JavaScript function. So let's call this function process string. So the first thing that we need to do is retrieve the user input. So let's create a variable input string and let's get the value from the input text box which is from this first text box. So document.get element by ID and the ID of the input text box is txt box and we want to retrieve the value from there. Let's create a variable to hold our result. So basically we have our input string. Now the string object in JavaScript has got a match method and to the match method we can pass regular expressions. So basically what we want to retrieve from this string is all digits, all numerical digits. So first of all, regular expressions should be present inside forward slashes. So whatever you have in between these two forward slashes, it is going to be a regular expression. So what I want to do is find all the numerical digits, you know, in this string, right? So in regular expression, to represent a numerical digit, we use backslash d. Let's see what is that going to result, okay? So basically, backslash d, that represents a numerical digit. Now, let's alert what we get back. And on click of this button, let's call this process string button uh, method. On click equals process string. All right, let's go ahead and run this now as it stands. So let's enter this string and click this process string. Notice that it only returns 9, okay? But we want 9, 8, 9, 10, 9, 9, 0 to everything. So basically, we want to do a global match with this regular expression. And in order to specify that you want to do a global match that is across the entire string, then at the end of the regular expression, use small letter g. So basically this letter g here is going to tell that we want to do a global match that is in the entire string. We want to find all occurrences of numerical digits. So now let's go ahead and run this. And enter our input string. And look at this, when I click process string, notice that I get 9, and then I get letter 8, and then 9, and then 0, and then 1. So basically, we don't want that. We want that entire number, 
okay so we want the one or more occurrences of that numerical digit so to achieve that use a plus sign here so backslash d plus means return us all occurrences or one or more occurrences of numerical digits from the string and this letter g at the end is going to tell that we want to do it across the entire string that is we want to do a global match so now let's go ahead and run this and enter our input string process string notice that we get 9 8 90 10 nine nine zero two now all we need to do is display those numbers within this text area element and for that let's use a for loop now what is going to happen we need to account for one more scenario for example if we enter something like this mark Mary now at the moment this string does not have any uh, numerical digits in that so when I click process string look at that it returns null so what we want to do is if result is not equal to null only then we want to process in a whatever result that we get back so instead of displaying it in the alert let's um, you know write those elements to the text area element so for that let's use a follow -up for where i equals 0 i less than result dot length i plus plus so if you don't have this check right here and if result is null this line is going to throw an exception that's why check if result is not null before processing um, you know the data that is there in the result variable so here what we want to do is append whatever we get back to the text area element so document dot get element by ID and the text area element ID is txt area dot value plus equals result of I and then to that let's append backslash r and backslash n because we want every number to be on its own line so pretty straightforward code there so let's go ahead and run this and see if we get the desired result so let's enter our input string which is this one notice that we get the numbers 9, 8, 90, 10 and 9, 9, 0, 2. now let's go ahead and enter this um, string we should uh, first of all look at that it's appending to what's already there in the text area element so every time we call this function let's actually clear what's already there within that um, text area element so document so the value is going to be an empty string so let's run this one more time and now let's enter our second string notice that we get the numbers 9, 0, 8, 1, 2 and 3, 4 and let's enter our final string notice that we get 1, 2, 9, 0, 1 and 100 so basically this page is working with any string and here is the code that we have just written Thank you for listening and have a great day.